Hello everybody, I'm Ankit and I'm back with another WordPress security video. This video is about how hackers find information on your WordPress site. I'll show all your website's vulnerable areas and ways to fix it with minimum efforts. You don't need to do anything. Just stay tuned. Reconnaissance is a term coined to gather information. And scanning is when somebody runs a scan on your website to find vulnerabilities. So I'll exactly show you how hackers do it on your site. One, it's user enumeration. So this is one of the most basic vulnerability found in WordPress as on today as well. So if you have a WordPress installed on your site, so you need to go and check this particular URL, append this URL at the end of the site and see if you get a JSON response or not. So you need to enter wpjson slash wp slash v2 slash users and check if your site gives a JSON response or not. So for this session, what I've done is I've set up a random uh, instance of WordPress. This is running on the latest version of WordPress, that's 5.2.3 and uh, it's running on PHP 7. So what I'll do is I'll just log into the site. So what I'll do is I'll try to append in my URL and see if I get a JSON response or not. This is a fresh installation for this particular video. Wow, gosh. So yeah, I see on entering WP JSON, WP V2 slash users, I get a JSON response, which says ID one name equals security evangelist. So for your information, these are key value pairs that's sent as a response or a JSON response and security evangelist. So basically whatever, uh, you know, value that you see for the key name, that is usually the username for a uh, WordPress login. That is basically the username for your WordPress login. So this gives us little more information about your site that you have a username with security evangelist. It does not reveal your password here, but it do tell your username right away. Okay, so you must be wondering what a hacker would do when he knows your username. So this is something that I'll explain in the later part of the video where I'll show you what hacker exactly can do if there's this user enumeration vulnerability on your site. Next, I'll go to the second point that says WP Intel, that's a Chrome extension. I'll have to install in my Chrome browser and see its capabilities right away. So what I'll do is I'll go to Chrome, I'll look for WP Intel extension. And for whatever results that you get, you just need to install this WordPress vulnerability scanner and let's see it's magic. You need to go to add an extension and in a while this extension will be added where you'll just see the magic in a minute. So what I'll do is I'll just put in the URL of the instance that I've set up for this video and I'll see that this has turned from black to green, right? So that is what uh, this uh, the green color signifies that this is a WordPress site, right? So it says WordPress detected and these are the few things that this plugin is capable of. This will, this is one of the, this is one of the favorite tools used by hackers to find vulnerabilities in a website. So this comes handy in the reconnaissance phase when they're, you know, gathering all the possible information in your website. So this plugin is capable of telling version and vulnerabilities, then themes and plugins information, enumerate usernames, check for user registration, check for path disclosure and more. So if you want to hack your site the way hackers do, what you need to do is you just need to go install this plugin and see what it shows for your site. Right. We've already seen uh, enumerate usernames that this is exactly as same as username enumeration. So what I'll do is I'll just go to the new. Okay. So now we have security evangelist as the username. All right. So this is what you need to do. You can just find usernames to log into the WordPress admin and you can exploit the admin later. I'll exactly show you what happens next, right? So let's just jump back to the recognizance phase and see what we have in store for you next. So you have seen that, you know, hacker tries to identify version vulnerabilities, uh, tries to identify what usernames are there on the website, what themes you are using that can all be done with the WP Intel Chrome extension, right? Next is the phase of scanning. Now in this phase, hacker usually goes to uh, some automated tools that they have their cells built or WP scan, 
it's a wordpress scan that is there uh, built by open source community what you can do is you can run it against your site and you will be able to see a lot of vulnerabilities automatically so what you need to do is go to the limited scanner that's wpscan.io or i personally use wp scans command line tool that is free for use but in wpscan.io that's a hosted cloud service you'll be only able to scan one website that's that's why it's a limited scanner but wp scan on command line you can scan unlimited websites with same capabilities so for all the techies out there what i'll do is i'll just get into my wp scans command line tool and show you how will i um you know how will i find out vulnerabilities using wp scan right away so this is a virtual setup that i've made uh, so as to show you how wp scan runs so to understand how wp scan runs so there are few commands that you will need to understand and for that i've written wp scan dash dash help so with this you'll be able to see what capabilities are there for wp scan uh, the, what arguments you can pass in with the standard arguments and to use WordPress security scanner. Uh, the usage is WP scan, then few options that are listed below. Here's a whole list of options up there and then dash dash URL and then actually the URL of the uh, domain that you're trying to scan, right? So what I'll do is I'll scan this particular instance that we have built for the video. I'll just type in now I've written the URL that we have set up for the instance and now when I press enter it will start to scan the website entirely and will let us know all the vulnerabilities that exist in the site right I'll let this scan run for a while and meanwhile I'll tell you what it is about and then we'll be able to see um, uh, what it finds for us so it has actually started to find a few things for us we'll just come back here Cool. So the other thing that I have for you is a free scanner. So with the capabilities of WP scan and WP scan.io, you will be limited to a few scans, but there's another free scanner that we have for you is astra.sh slash scanner. Mind you scanners S is capital, right? So what you need to do, you need to go in your browser, just, you know, type in the URL and then you'll be able to go to the page where you can actually scan your website. So this tool is also uh, capable of finding vulnerabilities on your site, right? So what I'll do is I'll enter the same URL as this and it will tell us a few vulnerabilities without taking much of time. All right. So when you visit here, you'll need to click on run security or there are other tools as well. Uh, where you can find malware on your site, uh, you can see if uh, your site is affected by SEO spam or not, you can run a security audit. So for now, for this site, I'll run a security audit and let's see what it tells us. So this tool is really quick, it does not take much of time, it gives Astra's health score based on various tests that we run in the background and gives out a score out of 100. And here are the results. So it does not redirect to an HTTPS site, that's great. It tells it correctly because it does not actually, you know, redirects to HTTPS, which is really important. That's why it has given a high severity issue. Then we have HSTS not enabled, which is again a high severity issue. And then a lot of other, you know, scan results. So that, that's how, you know, uh, this Astra security scan works without, you know, limited capabilities. Also, you can email yourself a report of all the vulnerabilities found if you would like to send it to your developer or somebody who manages your site. So now let's get back to WP scan, WordPress scanner that we ran in the background and see what it has to offer. Okay, that's great. So now we're back in the virtual machine and we can see the scanner stopped. Uh, requests done were 50, cache requests were 7 and a lot more information. Memory used was 163 MB for to and fro requests and response. Then let's start to read a little about the WP scans report. So it's really a good tool which tells us about uh, which server the application is using powered by PHP 7. That is exactly correct. Then page speed, X cache disabled or not, then back in server everything that a hacker needs to know or everything that somebody needs to know in order, order to hack your site right so th this is what uh, happens in information ga gathering again it tells us about uh, the url and does it found it's robots.txt or not robots.txt basically allows or disallow bots to crawl the site or not 
then it gives a confidence score whether it's there or not and significantly it has a number to it so 100% means it's there and when we go down we see RSS generator for the WordPress version it's 5.3.2 that's what I told you in the starting that we are running on the latest version WordPress theme in use is generate press so see now we have WordPress version in case you're using a previous version for which vulnerabilities are already out then you need to fear because what has hacker done it has done nothing it's it just ran a tool which would you know eventually take in uh, just a few seconds to reveal your version your theme the plugins that you're using and other things like that so let's see yourselves that your theme is out uh, plugin is out see it's saying enumerating all plugins via passive methods and so no plugins found it was a fresh install so that's where there are no plugins otherwise there would have been a list of plugins with their versions and it's really easy to go out on web and find out vulnerabilities already that are exploited for plugins that are installed right so it says enumerating config backups then it says no wp1 db api token things like that right so this is all in the phase of reconnaissance and scanning where hacker tries to identify all the information that he could potentially gather a complete free wordpress security course for you so if you have not enrolled until now then here's a free wordpress security course we launched for the community and that can be enrolled via astro.sh slash wps what you could do is just go to the browser search for wps and guess what Here's the course. If you go down, you'll read that a course that separates you from other WordPress creators and there's a lot that you get in the course and you can enroll for free. Give your name, email ID and that's an email course. So you receive emails daily for 10 days. That means 10 lessons in total and you'll be able to secure your site. Great. So that's it folks for today and we'll keep bringing in more videos like these if there's absolutely anything that you want me to talk about i'll be happy to help i'll be happy to speak about it in my next video so what you need to do is you just need to subscribe and you just need to write in comments that what you want to hear next Bye bye